Uh huh. Out for a little walk. Uh huh. We're going to do 20 miles today? Nope. Two if we're lucky. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have decided that I'm going to stick a pen and Virgin Active and walk around this beautiful neighborhood to burn some collars. Now, when it get too hot, that's probably going to go right out the window. Uh. <laughs> but now, we're going to stick a little pen in it. It's like Goldilocks over here. It's too cold. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> There's too many hills. <laughs> Happy Saturday, family. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon in Johannesburg. And we are back at AJ's, which is fairly close to the house. And we like this place because it's very chill. Um, and the space is compact enough where you can kind of keep an eye on your kids as they play. Uh, the environment is very relaxed. The food is good. The only caveat is it takes a while to get your food. But if you come in there with that mindset, you are good to go. So paddle ball is a huge activity in South Africa. And Rich has decided he wants to try and give it a go so this pink awning over here is a huge paddle ball court so rich had gone over to see what the membership fees were and uh kind of get a lay of the land so it is saturday night and one of our beautiful expats made arrangements for us to have dinner and karaoke and this place did not disappoint Happy Sunday, fun day, family. So uh, just a quick shout out to uh, the amazing evening that I had the night before at uh, Saigon Susie in Four Ways. We had gone there for dinner and then we had uh, in the same venue, they had a karaoke room. And as you guys can see, that karaoke room was pretty impressive. I've never been to anything so jazzy. So it was definitely uh, a wonderful experience. And it was so, so, so nice to hang out with some beautiful expat women and meet some new beautiful uh, South African ladies. Um, and then also I had an opportunity to see another beautiful Ghanaian friend. Uh, so yeah, overall, the night was such a success. Dinner was amazing. The karaoke was fantastic. And uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend Saigon Susie for dinner and for the karaoke. Now back to Sunday. So we, um, as you know, I'm always on a mission to find something to do on the weekends. And what I'm noticing is, I'm assuming because it's spring and the weather is just doing its thing, that a lot of events are outdoors. So this weekend I came across three different events that were hosting live music. And one was on Saturday and that one did not look too kid friendly, but it looked like it was a big deal. I think it was called the Park Park Fest or I'm not sure. Uh, but they allow kids, but it just didn't look like it would be super kid friendly. And then on Sunday, there was a live music event that I was, I believe was in honor of Women's Day, which I entertained that one for a little bit. But ultimately, we decided to go to this live music event at Kilnery Country Club uh, because they had like a kid friendly uh, or they had a play area for kids. So, of course, we were sold once we came across that. So, that's where we are heading to now. Um, and, of course, we wanted to bring you guys along for the 
adventure. Well, it's not really an adventure anytime it's at a golf course, but you know what I mean. We wanted to bring you guys along. So we finally arrived and it's a pretty big golf course uh, so it took us a minute to find out where the actual place was but we did all we had to do was follow the path So as you can see, this was a beautiful, beautiful golf course <clears throat> and uh, pretty massive. Again, I'm always blown away by how some of these um, venues are tucked away in the middle of a city. It will forever be something I will always be fascinated by because you never know what's behind the walls. So that concludes our little live music outing. It was fun. 